The other day, one of the members in the Facebook group posted this request. And in essence, what they're asking is, how do you create a minimalistic email opt-in form? And I want to answer that in this tutorial video and actually show you how to do it. Now, we're going to be using Elementor Pro, not the normal free Elementor. We have to use Elementor Pro because it has a very flexible forms module that we're going to be able to manipulate it and make it look minimalistic. It's going to look very slick. Now, the reason why you want to have a minimalistic email opt-in form is the more pieces of information that you ask in an email opt-in form, the lower your conversion rate is. So ask yourself, do you really need to get their first and last name? Do you even really need their first name? Do you ever use their first name? Can you just ask for that information? later on. So we're going to create a minimalistic email opt-in form that's going to look beautiful in this video. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies like me and maybe like you. And if that is you, consider clicking on the subscribe button and the notification bell. Let's get started. So like I said, we're using Elementor Pro in this video and the reason is there's really no other way if you're an Elementor user to get really stylish, flexible email opt-in forms. And this right here is the email opt-in form that we're going to be creating. It just asks for the email address and then we have a button and it looks all blended in as one cohesive unit. It's an illusion that we're going to pull off in this video. Here's an alternative way of doing it. I didn't really style up the button, but the concept is the same. The only real difference here is I don't have the rounded corners on the entire field or on the button. So that's the only difference there. So you're going to be able to make these different varying styles depending on your needs. So let's get started. Here's my Elementor panel. I'm going to create a new section and I'll just do one column like this. Go ahead and give it some uh, minimum height like that. And then let's go ahead and put a color on the background. I'm using the beta of Elementor version three. So let's go ahead and choose this color right here. Actually, let's go ahead and choose the accent color. So we're going to do the reverse. Next, I want to reduce the width of this just so it looks good. Actually, I better undo it. You can't see my hover cursor. You see that the little ring around my mouse. So I'm going back to the accent color like that. That's fine. OK, so next I want to change the content width because you wouldn't want an opt in form that is this wide. So what I'm going to do is adjust this slider right here and that should be good right there. We'll leave that at 680. I'll click on the dial pad and I'll bring over my forms uh, module. There's so many different elements now in Elementor. I, I can't even scroll through it. I just always have to use this search option. There we go. So I'm dragging and dropping and and right off the bat it it's you're looking at this and saying, how am I going to get from this to this? It's actually very easy. And the more comfortable you get with the Elementor uh, form a tool, you're going to be able to realize that you can create pretty much anything that you want. So here's my default fields. I'm going to get rid of name and I'm going to get rid of message because I don't need those. I'm going to click into email. And first thing I'm going to do is this content width. That's how wide the field is. I'm going to reduce this down to 60 percent. So it freeze up the space and I'm going to pull the button up and in there. This is called an inline opt in form and it's incredibly difficult to do with form tools, but not with this form module from Elementor. OK, so we got that going and I will close out those email settings. I don't need to show the label. That's this little bit here in black. So let's toggle that off. Now I'm going to click on button and that's the so the submit button right here and I'm going to go ahead and change the column width for the remainder of that 100%. So I did 60 on the form field and I'll do 40 here and guess what? It just pulls it all up on one line and we've gotten a lot of it done already. So next I'll change the label of the button. So right here is the submit button and it says send. So I'll put something different. I went ahead and entered. Yes, I'm in. You can enter whatever you want. You usually want some kind of a confirming message in there versus just send or submit something that gets them excited. Yes, I'm in. I'm in on this. I'm with you. So now let's add our icon. Uh, you could upload your own SVG. I'll just choose one from the icon library. I'll enter in mail. Obviously, you can 
choose any one that you want. I'll choose this one. I'll click on insert and there we have it. We already have our button going. So now what we need to do is merge these and add some borders and all that kind of fun stuff. So we're going to find all of these options right here in the style setting. So first we need to get rid of this little gap and that's called a column gap right here. So we can just change this from 10 to zero and you can see now they're mostly next to each other, not entirely. So now let's go down to field, our field styling options right here. And we are going to add a border radius. And so for here, I'm going to enter in Let's see, I think we're going to go 10, nice rounded corner. So border radius is just going to round it out. You can see it rounds it out over here on the side. Now we actually don't want it rounded out on this side, right? Because we're going to blend the two together. So I'm going to unlink them right here. And so that's going to be the right I want to get rid of. So I'll put a zero there and you can see it got rid of that. And then the bottom, I'll put a zero there. And now what you see, I only have a value for top and left, top and left right here and we have nothing here. And now it's kind of flat and touching, which is the effect that we're going after. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and collapse that. Now let's take a look at our button styling. So for this, we're gonna do a couple things. I'm going to do that same border radius of 10, and you can see it rounded it up the same way right there, 10 all around. And now we need to add a border color. So for border type up here, I'm gonna choose solid, and there you can see it's already coming in. So we could actually make this as thick as we want. So right here, I'm gonna enter in, let's see what it looks like with 10. That might be too, way too much, yeah. So let's go ahead and put five and see how that looks. And five looks fine. It, it's probably what I'm using up here. It looks fine. Now we have one challenge here and that's how do we get these two to touch so that it looks seamless. We don't have this little gap right here and this little gap right here. For this, we're gonna have to drop in a tiny little bit of CSS code and I'll have this in the video description down below. You just need to merge it ever so slightly to cover these little curves right there. So what I'm gonna do is click on advanced, click on C custom CSS, and I'm gonna paste it in. I already have it in my clipboard here. And you can see just by doing that, it merged the two. Now it actually looks a little off and we're gonna fix that right now, uh, but it did push them together just enough, which is uh, 10 pixels in order to make it look merged. Now the reason it might be hard for you to see in the video, but it looks a little off and that's because the field has a border that is black. Normally, if it's on a white background, you can easily see it. So we need to get rid of that border or change the border to be white. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go back to style. I'm going to go down to field and you can see it right here where it says border width right here and it says one. Well, we could actually just put in a zero. There we go and now it looks perfectly blended. So you can see we've easily created this minimalistic email opt-in form and all we did is use a little tiny snippet of custom CSS to blend the two elements together so we could have this rounded corner right there. Now that was pretty easy, huh? And it's going to get more and more easy for you to create custom looking things like this as you use Elementor more and as you use El their forms module more, you're going to be able to get really comfortable. Now if you want to learn more about Elementor forms and the module for it, I have a full tutorial video that I put out just a few weeks ago that went over everything that you can do with this. And I have another video about how you can email download links. It's not as obvious. So I have a video on that as well. I'll put links to those in the video description box down below because if you want to learn more about Elementor Forms, that's the way to do it. If you don't have Elementor Pro, I do have a link down below that when you click on it, um, uh, if you do click on it, it's a referral link. If you do click on it, actually it doesn't go to Elementor's website. It goes to my website where I give you some information about a training course I have on Elementor that I want to give you when you you purchase Elementor Pro, you can find all that information right there. Um, so, hey, thanks for watching this video. I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.